This one is going to be on uh, WinFF. WinFF is a video converter. Okay. Now, what I like about this program is uh, you can do batch encoding. What I mean by that is um, you have all your files here, right? You want to convert all of these at one time, right? I just uh, drag it over, drop it. Now, when you click on convert, it'll do, um, you know, convert one and then it go to the next one and the next one until it ends. This is the only program that I can encounter that can do this. You know, all the other programs that I use, they can't, they don't have this option. Now, if you want to use this program, you make sure that in your edit and preference here, that this Linux tab here, make sure it's pointing to all your executables, you know. And if you're on Windows, you gotta make sure you point to the right exe. Okay. Now it should load up automatically for you, but just make sure that you check it, or else if you don't have it, this program is not gonna do nothing for you. Now to use this program, um, you know, all you do is drag and drop your shit in here, and then you click on here where it says what you want to convert it to. So you click on down here. They have a few options. Um, PSP and Palm, the cell phone and iPod. So that's what I'm gonna do with iPod. Now you click on iPod. They have options over here. These are your presets, or the most common ones that people use. Okay. So mine's the Xvid. Now if you want to do your custom, you know, or you want to tweak it the way that you want it to. You go to options up top here, right? Click on it, and you get this menu down here. And in here, you can type in uh, whatever the fuck you want, like um, your uh, video bit rate, um, the audio, and the video size that you want to, you know, resize it to. And that's pretty much it. Um, now you click on convert, right? And when you click on convert, you see you get this um, this DOS like menu. Now this is the bad thing about this program, okay? You get the uh, this fucking thing, and they don't know. You don't even know when it's gonna be finished. <laughs> you don't even know how much time is left. So uh, you just gotta wait until it ends, and they'll tell you when it's finished. That's about it. So you don't know, okay? That's the bad thing about it. Now to install this program, uh, you gotta use the repo list. Now this is the last time I'm gonna tell you this, okay? If you guys don't know that this by now, all you gotta do is um copy the repo here. Copy this shit, alright? Now what you're gonna do with that is um go to your systems up top here. And you go to administrations, you go down to software sources. and enter your password and you get this screen and in here it says third party that's where you want to be and add and all you gotta do is now is paste that shit you just copy see add sources and it should tell you to reload or some shit just do it and you're done. Close it off. That's pretty much it to add the repo. Now you didn't you didn't do nothing yet unless um you you gotta go to your synaptic package manager and search for WinFF right here and install this package. Okay, install it, and then you have WinFF. Now WinFF uses FFmpeg. And the FFmpeg from Ubuntu by default does not have any copyrighted stuff because it's Linux, you know. Linux, they don't like copyrighted shits, okay? But there's a drawback if you're using like iPod, like me, or you're using maybe DVD shits, you might need those, um, you know, copyrighted shits because that's the only way that's going to work with your, your uh, hardware, you know what I'm saying? Now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add. Um, this is not recommended if you don't have those restrictions, okay? But um, with the mini Ubuntu repository, we're going to update the um, FFmpeg because uh, the default FFmpeg does not have copyrighted shits, okay? 
So we update it, we will have no restrictions on that shit. So you go to um, Mini Ubuntu, okay? And uh, to add the repository list, all you gotta do is copy this whole thing and paste it in your terminal. And you have the list. And also um, copy this whole line also. And you have the key. The key is basically just you know verifying that it's coming from Mini Ubuntu. That's about it. And uh, now you um, should be able to see um, like you know that icon that says update ready or something like that, like the red icon yeah, around here. But if it doesn't pop up, um, you can always go to your Synaptic Package Manager and search for ffmpeg, right? This package, and you're gonna right click on it, and it should say the mark for upgrade if it's available. Since mine's already updated, uh, it's graded out. And that's how you uh, install um, the new FFmpeg. Now, like I said, um, Mini Ubuntu is not necessary, but uh, if you have like a, you know, maybe a restricted DVD or iPod or something like that, because uh, here, the, you know, for encrypted um, playing encrypted DVDs, you might need this too. Um, but uh, for this one, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm only using this for FFmpeg. Mini Ubuntu is for other shits too, but you know, this is one that's only for uh, WinFF because WinFF uses FFmpeg, and FFmpeg is what they use to convert your videos, so that affects your videos, and that's why we use Mini Ubuntu. That's about it.